there, welcome back to my channel. My name is Brittany Bundles and today we're going to talk about something that I think is very useful. This piece of advice really, really helped me. Um, we're gonna be talking about not waiting for anyone else to pat you on your, on your back, waiting for um, other people to acknowledge the good that you do, waiting for other people to give you the accolades and the appreciation that you're expecting instead of giving yourself the... Um, you know, giving yourself the uh, round of applause for really doing what it is you set forth to do. So I'm going to be talking about this today. If you are interested, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Please make sure that you are subscribed and let's get right into this video. So I'm making this video because like so many people, you know, I, you know, I, I try to do my best. I try to make sure that I'm always moving forward. I try to help as many people as I can. Um, I try to make sure that I'm being consistent. I try to make sure that I'm um, easy to uh, come to. I, I try to make sure that I'm learning as much as I can every day. And so often we get wrapped up with um, waiting for others to acknowledge what we're doing. You know, whether it be, say you sent someone a gift and you're thinking that you're expecting that phone call. Hey, you know, I sent her a gift or I sent him a gift about a month ago. I still haven't received a call just thanking me. Or say you uh, purchase something from one of your friend's businesses and you're supporting them and you're sitting back and you're like, hey, you know, when are you going to support me, purchase something for me? Or maybe it's that you um, went out your way to help someone and you see that same person and, you know, you're, you're sitting back and you're wondering, okay, are you going to help me? Or maybe it's something, you know completely different. Say you are trying your hardest to do something, get something off of the ground. You're trying your hardest to stop um, being negative. You're trying your hardest to just have a good outlook on life and to treat others with respect. And no matter what you do, it seems like no one is noticing that. It seems like people only notice the negative that you do. Um, it seems like you can go out and do the, the biggest, best good deed uh, and no one notices it. It kind of just goes, like I said, unnoticed. It goes without any uh, round of applause. It just, it's there. And you're like, wow, you know, every time I do something wrong, people are always there. But the moment I do something right, no one ever notices it. So I'm going to be talking about that today because I've, I've felt that too. I've, I've been in positions in my life where I've been like, okay, you know, I, I've reached this goal. Where, where, you know, who's going to pat me on my back? Who's going to say good job? And, um, you know, it, it's something that really can hold you back and it's something that can slow you down if you get too wrapped up in waiting for other people to applaud what you're doing. Uh, I would always wait, you know, there were different things in my life that I've accomplished and I would always want certain people to reach out and to just acknowledge what I did. And sometimes you'll have those certain people and sometimes you won't. But I really want to make this video to show you or to express to you that I understand where a lot of people are coming from and how to move forward. You can't expect anyone to feel the way that you do, first of all. That's what I had to learn. I can't expect anyone to treat me how I treat them because they're not me, if that makes sense. I can't expect for anyone to completely wholeheartedly understand everything that I'm saying or everything that's of value to me. I can't expect that. And so although we want that, although you want people to acknowledge what you're doing, we do have to come to terms of reality that everyone is not going to care what you're doing everyone is not going to acknowledge what you're doing and everyone is not even if they see what you're doing and like it they're still not going to applaud you for doing that and you have to be okay with it I learned for myself not really for anyone else but just for me what helped me is realizing that when you do certain things it's best to do them out of your heart that way you're not really expecting anything back you know if you give someone something or if you support someone it should really be from the bottom of your heart it shouldn't be a support for support if that makes sense now again I'm an advocate of supporting others. I have made videos on this channel about the importance of support. I, I definitely um, I definitely think that support is a, a, a big part in any you know successful business, obviously. you know I, I think that uh, if we support more people, then more people have the chance of becoming successful. Like I mentioned, more people are going to be uplifted. more people have the opportunity to help others. more people will have better attitudes. And so I just think it's a good thing to support. but at the same token, I don't want us to ever feel like our support is going in vain because we didn't receive anything back. You know, we really have to learn how to give selflessly. And, you know, say we're talking about people that um, don't notice or acknowledge anything that you're doing. I remember I used to um, get really, really upset 
when certain people wouldn't be everyone but you'll have those certain people that are close to you that you really really want to acknowledge what you're doing um whatever it may be to notice your progress to keep you going and like i said if you wait on people to do that you'll be waiting you will be waiting now like i said sometimes it'll happen sometimes it won't but we really have to learn to start patting ourselves on the back and we really have to learn how to be happy for ourselves regardless of who else is happy for us our society has trained us to pretty much wait on others response you know even if i did something that's great even if i reach one of my goals it's not really solidified unless a thousand people like it it's not really valuable unless I get this many shares. It's not really valuable unless I get this comment. And we have to start retraining ourselves to say, you know what, I did something that I really wanted to do. I'm proud of myself. Good job, Brittany. We have to start saying that. Um, instead of waiting on someone else to treat you, waiting on someone else to take you out. I know when I used to uh, reach accomplishments or goals, I would always look, you know, especially even to my boyfriend, I would be like, okay, are we going out to eat? And a lot of times we did. But even that, you know, I started looking at it differently and I was like, you know what? I can take myself out. There's nothing wrong with me celebrating my accomplishments either instead of waiting for someone else to celebrate for you. And I, I hope I'm not, um, I hope no one's misunderstanding what I'm saying. I'm not saying that it's not appropriate or not appreciated for other people to celebrate your successes or to take you out or to celebrate with you. I'm just saying that it's nothing wrong with you appreciating and celebrating what you've done on your own. And not only that, but it's nothing wrong with you being able to give yourself a pat on the back without waiting for the approval of others, if that makes sense. Um, so I wanted to put this out there because this is something that is on my heart. A lot of people deal with this. I know that for first firsthand, I've dealt with this. You know, I've I, even in school, I've sat back and I've waited, you know, hey, this is something I got. I got all A's. Is someone going to call me? Am I going to get this? Am I going to? Or even, um, you know, graduating. You may look out in the audience and say, hey, is anyone here? Or say you're on a basketball team or um, you're, you're in, a, in a different, um, you're in a um, certain group or extracurricular activity or something. And you're sitting back like, hey, you know, I, I see all these other people here cheering me on, but I really, really wanted this person to be here. I really, really wanted this person to be here. And so if we get wrapped up in what we don't have, a lot of times it can bring us down. And I always talk about making sure that we don't allow ourselves to get too down. You know what I mean? That we are doing everything that we can in our power to try and uplift us. You know, de de depression is definitely real, like I've been saying. Um, there's nothing wrong with seeking medical advice. There's nothing wrong with, um, you know, dealing with it the way that your doctor recommends. But I'm saying if we can stop some of those thoughts before it even spirals to that point, if we can start uh, looking at things in perspective and, and you know instead of saying well no one supports me and that may be true but instead of telling yourself that you can say you know this is something that you did great we did it we did it you know good job and you can treat yourself so even in business I work with a lot of people that are in business and a lot of people say that their family you know like I mentioned before they don't support them and um, I've mentioned this before you know before we, we are like I said before we're so quick to say who doesn't support us we really have to look back and we have to ask ourselves, you know, what are we doing this for? Are we doing this solely for the support? Now, I'll be the first one to say support feels great. It feels good to have people that are applauding you and people that are pushing you forward. But if that's the only reason that you're doing something, then you have to check. You have to check back with yourself and say, you know, why am I really doing this? Why am I really committed? So I want to it? take it another step further. Um, I want to be as helpful as I can to everyone. And I know, um, like I've been saying this whole week, depression is real. I know that uh, low self-esteem is real. I know that second guessing yourself is real. And so if you do need, you know, ever anyone to pick you up, if you need just some words of encouragement, feel free to reach out to me. I'm more than happy to write you back, um, try to provide some inspiration, some motivation for you. Uh, but I, I just, I don't, I don't want anyone to go through life, you know, just waiting, just waiting on that uh, hand clap, just waiting on that acknowledgement. Um, again, yes, it feels good to be acknowledged, but we do have to realize that there are times that we, we may not be. And even in those times, it doesn't mean that you didn't do a good job. It doesn't mean that you're less of a person. I'm going to put this in there, you know, it's like so many times, um, so often we find ourselves doing things just for the approval or, or um, you know, want to put smiles on other people's faces. You know, even when I was younger and I was deciding which uh, career I wanted to go into for college, 
I was I was thinking of what I wanted to do, but I was primarily thinking of what would make my family happy and what would make them proud of me. And so a lot of times we have that same mentality when we're going into our adult life. We're, you know, we're just like, what can we do to satisfy others pretty much? And, and it does come a point where, you know, it's a thin line between, you know, you surrounding yourself with people that support you and then you also being told not to expect support. I completely understand that's a thin line. Um, and it's very hard not to expect people to celebrate your accomplishments. It's very hard, but you have to be willing to, you have to be willing to, to accept what, what, what it is and what, it, what it's not. Um, if someone loves you and they're not supporting you, say you, you feel like they're not, um, celebrating your accomplishments they're not really getting happy for you they're not there when you go to different events if, if someone that you love is doing that I always recommend to go to the person and tell them because although you may feel a certain way their intentions may not even be to not support you they may be thinking in their mind that they are supporting you and so if you get wrapped up too deep into okay this person didn't clap this person didn't buy anything this person you know it really can affect your mental it could affect the way that you start operating it can affect the way that you start looking at things it can affect the way that you feel and so i'm just making this video to say that it's okay to celebrate your own accomplishments again i'm going to keep saying it yes it feels good to be celebrated by others but sometimes even when we're not being celebrated, it could be for a multiple, multiple reasons. The person may not know how to um, support. They may think that they are supporting in another way that you may have not noticed, you know? They may be thinking that they supported you another way or say someone watched your children one day and you may be thinking, oh, they're just being nice, but they may have been thinking, hey, I'm being nice, but this is also a way of me showing you that I support you. Um, because you were going to an event and I volunteered to watch your children. So I'm just saying there's so many relationships that are severed, so many relationships that are just ended prematurely, in my opinion, you know, just because we have that mentality again and just cut people off if they're not supporting. But I'm just saying, don't be afraid to support yourself and don't be afraid to ask questions like, hey, or have conversations like this is how I feel. I feel like I did this, this and that and you really weren't excited for me. How does that feel? And also be open to the fact that people when they are excited, they show it differently. I know when I'm excited about something, I might get really, really excited. If a song comes on that I love, I'll just burst out and start singing. I may even dance, but my boyfriend's completely opposite. So if a song comes on that he likes, he may do a, smi a slight smile, but he's not gonna burst out and sing and dance. And so even if we go to different concerts or something, I might be go, you know, dancing, I might look over to him and he's just like, I'm like, okay, are you enjoying yourself? But that, you know, just, just being out and meeting new people, um, being open to learning different things you know you realize that everyone has a different way of celebrating everyone has a different way of supporting and so again like i said support yourself be happy for yourself don't be afraid to pat yourself on the back don't be afraid to be proud of yourself don't be afraid to be proud of yourself seriously be proud of what you've done i don't care if no one else is clapping if no one else is happy be happy for what you've done be happy for what you've done. A lot of times when you're starting off, people really don't respect your vision. They don't really see your vision. They don't see the potential. And it's not really their job to see the potential, but it's yours to bring your potential to its full ability. And then, you know, a lot of times when you do start growing, that's when people notice and they're like, oh, oh, oh. And I'm not saying do anything for anyone else. I'm just saying that it's very typical. I hear a lot of stories where people are like, you know, when I just started off, no one supported me. You hear that now with celebrities. And so I just don't want that to discourage anyone. So if you have any questions, comments, feel free to leave them down below. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.